You mentioned a non-contact sport. Derrick Rose participates in that. He has suffered non-contact injuries over and over and over again. We all know about the laundry list of injuries that has hampered what could have been a Hall of Fame career. And there's going to be a pretty good, above average, already winning MVP, the youngest ever to win it. That puts you above. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm sorry for starting like that. He's going to be remembered as a guy who could have been great but was overshadowed completely by injuries. Yet he has weighed in on the Jimmy Butler, Kawhi Leonard saga. And here is what he had to say. Now in the NBA, everybody has a little bit of freedom to do a little more of what they want. And he's, as in Jimmy, expressing that he didn't want to be here and he want to go somewhere else. I mean, Kawhi Leonard did it last year, didn't he? <laughs> like, he just didn't play. Jimmy just came out and said he didn't want to play here. I had so much stuff going on, I couldn't even focus on what was really going on with the team. I signed early and I left everything up to Thibs. Butler's trade demand was just a surprise, not only to me, I think to everyone that he wanted to leave. I didn't know what the situation is. I just didn't know it was that bad. Even being here, I didn't know it was that bad. Let's go back to the second graphic if we can very quickly, because obviously the money point is him making the similarity between Jimmy Buckets and Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard did it last year. He just didn't play. Jimmy just came out and said he didn't want to play here. I had stuff going on, blah, blah, blah. There is a similarity, except that Kawhi Leonard did not play. And Jimmy Butler, I have to believe, if he is going to partake at all in this season, will play one more season with the Minnesota right. Timberwolves. Unless he pulls a Kawhi Leonard, he easily could. Do you I mean, see the I similarity? Mean, it, it will, I guess it'd have to be, from, I guess the controversy <coughs> around Kawhi Sorry. was around the injury. So it would be a, a bit different. He'd mm -hmm. have to either, he can't fake an injury. They right. look at him. Right. Uh, and so he'd have to, if something specific or definite would have to be said, like, you know, I'm not going to do it. Um, but, yeah, he's going to play, and that's the other part. That's what you, you saw from also Taj Gibson and, and from Rose. They respect him. Like, he, he's, he's there for his teammates, mm -hmm. which is, again, back to Earl, Earl Thomas with the Seahawks. He yes. played because of his team, not because of the situation with the, with the organization. So he's going to play, and then they'll respect him still. This is a player's fraternity, obviously, and they still respect what he's doing. And he, if he doesn't want to be here, he doesn't want to be here for whatever reason. Right. And I think maybe they might know it. And no one maybe. wants to say. Or maybe they're pressuring him to try and come back because they know they're way better off with Jimmy Butler than without Absolutely. Jimmy Absolutely. I mean, if I played on the team with Jimmy Butler, I wouldn't want him to leave. Hell no. <laughs> Absolutely not. But I think they know at this point they can't mend fences between Carl Anthony Towns, yeah. who just signed for like a yeah. $190 million extension, and Jimmy Butler, where there's clearly tension and turmoil between the two. Whether you believe the love triangle or not, like, it is what it is at this point. It could point. be multi-layered. We all know that It could be on the floor, too. It could be... Multiple things. Well, I remember seeing in crunch time, Jimmy Butler assisted on one Carl Anthony Towns bucket. The entire season. That's insane. You, you know have two what? star players. In basketball, when you're this good, you can choose what you want to do and how you do it. So if we're playing on the same team and I just don't like you as a person, of course I'm not going to pass you the ball sometimes when I know I can. Like, if right. you, you relate to guys you like, it's why team camaraderie is a big deal. You can do many things because you're a great NBA player. So I could pass it to you. Or I could take this jumper. Totally. I think I'd rather do that because I just don't like your face. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, lastly, obviously the big distinction is that one is injured, the other one just simply wants out of that respective organization. With Kawhi Leonard, there's more to it. He didn't trust the team doctors, is yeah. what we are led to believe. There was a lot going on behind the scenes that will only come out 20, 30, 40 years from now when Kawhi or Pop puts out a book, and then it becomes he said, she said, right. which, you know what, I, I, I'm all for the pettiness. I'm all for it. We could all draw our own distinctions as well, however. And that was that. He didn't trust the Spurs' organization because they tried rushing him back when he wasn't comfortable. I have seen this previously with Derrick Rose. When mm -hmm. the last part of his rehab was, you just got to go play, man. Kawhi couldn't do it. Now, whether that was something that he thinks the team misdiagnosed, could very well be. But obviously the great distinction between the two is that Kawhi had an injury, didn't trust the staff, and Jimmy Butler just potentially, not true, but potentially hates Minnesota and or hates Carl Anthony Towns. And that's what it is. Do you know what you could get for $4.99? Maybe one pack of Skittles. You know what's better? A lot of content. So download the TYT app, available on iOS and Android.